comedian has appeared on the Tonight Show six times in five Montreal Comedy Festivals. Please welcome Mr. John Wing. John Wing, everybody. Thank you. I'm John. I'll be your comedian. Those of you who have never seen me before, this is exactly what I look like. Thank you so much. You can probably tell from just looking at me that I had a lot of sex in high school. And not just with priests. Um, is that the line? Did I cross the line? Wasn't high school the coolest time? My God, I loved it. We were young, we were reckless. You ever do this? You're making love in a field during an electrical storm and you're struck by lightning and she dies, but thank God you're wearing a rubber. Anybody? Am I the only guy that happened to? You get home and your father's there. You are grounded, mister. Oh, I tell you. Delayed action on that one. Yeah, give you an extra second. I'm feeling good and I look good too and I thank you for saying so. We're talking about age tonight. I turned 40. God, must be, who, 11 and a half years ago now. Oh my Lord, it feels weird. I'm 51 fucking years old, ladies and gentlemen. And it's so much fun, you know? It's so much fun. My hair's going gray. Yeah, not here. Uh, no, no. Here, it goes gray here. But I don't really mind. Now when I'm naked, I look distinguished. <laughs> and everything looks bigger against the white backdrop. So, I have totally made my peace with that. I'm at that age where my, my brain still writes a lot of checks, but my body can't cash them anymore, you know? I still want to make love, but then five minutes into it, I'm thinking, how long is this going to fucking take? <laughs> I should have warmed up. This is crazy. <laughs> you know, I, I'm forgetful, too. I'm, I'm getting really forget. I was making love to my wife the other day, and I could not for the life of me remember the name of the woman I was thinking about. <laughs> oh. You know, it happens to us all, I suppose. <laughs> I'm married, married uh, Mrs. Wing and I, kind of a pet name, married uh, 18 wonderful years, 21 total, and um, <laughs> what, what, they can't all be wonderful, I guess is what I'm saying. <laughs> Marriage is a learning experience, am I right, a learning experience, oh, yeah. right, yeah. right, right, for men, for men, <laughs> for men. <laughs> for women, it's more of a teaching experience, really, isn't it? Right? The shaping and polishing of this rough piece of coal who will never be a diamond but might one day achieve cubic zirconia status for an hour. And then you'll be a lump of shit again. Working your way back up the home shopping gem chain. I've learned, boy have I learned. Little life lessons my wife gives me, you know. I've learned that if my wife makes a mistake, it's a mistake. It's an anomaly. It could happen to anyone. You know, if I make a mistake, it's indicative of a larger pattern of stupidity. <laughs> to which I am genetically predisposed. I've learned never interrupt your wife. Because if you do, she's just going to start all over again. <laughs> You're going to double the time you have to sit here listening to the story. The story you cannot shorten, you can only lengthen. <laughs> and remember, guys, if she's telling you about a problem she has, she doesn't want you to solve the problem. Like, like you even could look at you, you pathetic piece of shit. Like you could solve a woman's problem. She wants to hear herself talk about it and figure it out for herself. <laughs> She needs you there so she doesn't look like a lunatic talking to herself about her own problem. So, so shut up. 
My wife has this thing, she'll come into the room, she'll say, you know what I was thinking? No. It's a trick question. Because <laughs> she's actually saying, you know what I've decided? That's what she's really saying, right? By the time she gets to me, the, dis the decision's been made. Right? The thinking part's over. You don't even get a lot of time. She came in one day, you know, I was thinking we could use a new dishwasher. And I said, yeah, yeah, I, I suppose we could. And the doorbell rang. <laughs> it was a guy delivering a new dishwasher. She thought of it and it came to the door. That'll, that'll backfire on you, I'll tell you. We had a night this summer, uh, 10 o'clock, both my teenage daughters were in bed, Friday night, 10 o'clock. Had not happened, they were asleep in bed, 10 o'clock. Hadn't happened in our house in six years. My wife was awake at 10 o'clock, which hadn't happened in eight and a half years. <laughs> and I thought all the planets had lined up in the shape of a blowjob. <laughs> I went into the living room, I said, honey, I don't know if you know this, but the girls are asleep. And she said, wow, I'm wide awake. And she got this weird look on her face, and I said, what, what are you thinking about? And she said, sex? And the doorbell rang. Hey, wait a minute. You guys are great. Thanks so much.